create a beautiful butterfly using the arc tool in Adobe Illustrator. I have kept my document size to 1080 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 300. So let's get started. We usually have just a few tools in the toolbar. To get the arc tool, come down here in the bottom of the toolbar and click on this edit toolbar option. And you can get access to all these extra tools, which Adobe Illustrator has to offer. Now we'll select the arc tool and click on the artboard to close the panel. Let's first know how we'll be using the arc tool. Left click and drag on the artboard. We'll then press and hold the tilde key and drag the mouse. A quick note, tilde key is placed below your escape key on your keyboard. After dragging, if you leave the tilde key before your mouse, you will lose all your previous lines. So make sure you leave your mouse first and then the tilde key. And there you now know how we will be using the arc tool. Now let's delete this. Now let's start with our butterfly. We'll again go to edit toolbar and select the arc tool and use the same technique to make the butterfly's right wing. Once you are satisfied, select the selection tool and select the lines. And click on gradient. Then click on the down arrow and select black and white gradient. Click on the white dot and select the color you want and do the same with the black dot. If you deselect the lines, you will see it doesn't look like it's supposed to. To make it proper, we'll change the gradient from fill color to stroke color. Now, select the lines and click on the stroke icon and it will come on top. And click on the none option and now we'll click on the swap button. Left click on the artboard to deselect. And as you can see, the wing is now looking proper. We'll select the lines again and take our cursor on the top right corner and rotate it. You can place it how you want. And once you are done, right click on the lines, click on transform and click on reflect. Keep the axis on vertical and angle to 90 degrees and click on copy. You'll get another copy of the wing you just created. Now align it to the left like this. Now let's make the body of the butterfly. Go to Rectangle Tool and right-click and select Ellipse Tool. Create a vertical long ellipse like this. Now select the Selection Tool and select the body and swap from Stroke to Fill. Select the body again and change the color to what you want and then place it in between the wings. Now let's select the Arc Tool again and make the antennas. This time, no need to hold the tilde key as we want only one line. Click on the selection tool and give the desired color to it in stroke. Click on stroke. In arrow heads, click on the down arrow on the right and select arrow 21, the one with a dot. Select the line and right click, then click on transform, then click on reflect and click on copy. Now align it properly. You can use your arrow keys to move the line like this. Once you are done, let's center align it to the artboard. Select everything and click on Windows and click on Align and make sure Align to Artboard is enabled. Now let's align it. As you can see, it gathers them all to the center. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo. Before aligning, right click on it and click on Group. And now let's align it again. And there you have it, a beautiful butterfly. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hope you got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.